welcome back, yo! It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while. It's so loud outside. Let me just close my window now and I'm going to sacrifice the lighting. Anyway, welcome back. Lately, I have been wanting to paint again. That is how this channel started anyway and we will be doing a little of that today but instead I'm going to focus on travel journaling. I know none of us are traveling these days anyway and so it's a good time to actually relive the past travel experiences that you've had by starting your travel journal. If you're someone who likes going back at old memories, especially travel memories, I would highly recommend it. Also if you're someone who likes keeping like mementos like receipts and boarding passes and train tickets and keep them in a box and it's getting out of hand I recommend trying to do a travel journal because it organizes the memories plus you can write down notes of what you were feeling at that time and kind of keep them and preserve those memories forever well not forever but for a very long time I personally started doing travel journaling when my sister got me this for Christmas in 2018 this is the one by Abby C by the way I have to say that I am a novice I just have fun doing it or that you do it like everything else in life the better you get at it and Along the way, I'm going to give you tips in building your travel journal. It's been years since I last opened this one and so I'm super excited because today I finally finished it. Well, mostly. I've had a few pages left and we are going to complete it together. And at the end, I am going to do a flip through of the whole thing. So yeah, let's get started. So to make your travel journal, here's what you'll need. First is, of course, the stuff that you've collected from your trips. And if you're wondering what are the things that you can collect, well, here are some ideas. And as for your tools and materials, of course, you want to have washi tapes, adhesives, some stationery, writing tools, things that can make it look cute, like stickers, all these colored pens. Tip number one, have a designated place when you're traveling, like a container, an envelope, a pouch, where you can keep all of the stuff that you're going to collect along the way. Now I present to you my travel journal. See, it is a little bit dirty, but I don't really mind at all, as long as it's full of memories. I actually like it chunky this way that you can really close it. I find that, I don't know, very fun and exciting. Now, any notebook will do, but the thicker the pages, the better because that avoids the bleeding and so it's better for this purpose. Now, the first page is always intimidating. What I did is I just made it sort of like an introduction page of who I am, where I live, what are my hobbies, and so on and so forth. Here, I just replaced the washi tapes. The first spread here is my very first self-sponsored trip. <laughs> I just drew a very nice twin towers over there. I wrote stuff that we did, as well as who I was with. For Hong Kong, I did draw some of the stuff that were the highlights of my trip as I didn't think I kept a lot of memento other than the Disneyland Polaroid. But I was wrong, I found these and what I'm going to do is find a way to incorporate them into this page. Tip number three, no double-sided tape, no problem. Just roll the regular adhesive over and it will function the same. It, so I think that's fine. Tip number four for um, design. If you're confused, just simply color coordinate. That's what I'm doing here with the tape that I'm replacing this with. Here you will see a very unfinished um, spread, which brings me to tip number five. Fill a page as soon as you get back, lest you forget what you intended it for. Tip number six, if you want an extra page, you can always tape them like I did with this boarding pass. Number seven, you can make pockets. That makes things a little more interesting. Simply tape three out of four sides of paper on the page. Um, and then this is my trip to New York. Now, this is something that I drew all over the page because I was super inspired. If you're curious what I did to color this, it's the chameleon pen. This pack is only five pens, but I was able to create some depth, 
as you can see by creating a gradient from light to dark. Tip number nine! There are pockets and then there are corner pockets. That's just one nice variation that you can do. Next tip, you can write down random facts or trivia from that day. And also you can fold stuff to make them pop up or just make them fit in the page. Tip number 12, fill the page with the things that you did or the places that you visited. This one I also painted. Tip number 13, write down your playlist and it helps you remember the songs and the vibe of those days. So. Also, if you like to keep flowers and leaves that you will later on paste onto your travel journal, bring a book with you so you can press it immediately. Tickets, train tickets. Now eventually, you'll notice that I started using color in some of these, in the stickers and in the writings, and that really brings some fun into the page. Number 16, save the brochure, especially the ones that have photos in it so you can cut them out later on and paste them. Also, if you can draw instead of printing, I basically drew everything in here like the Heineken beer, the windmill, the diamond factory that we went to, some cheese tasting that we did, the bicycles. Number 18, write about the tastes and the smells as well. So here you can see I even drew the stuff that we ate and also the smell of the Belgian waffle and I made sure to put it in there. Rote Mart in Dutch. And then we come to the Louvre and Chateau de Versailles. Now this is where I last stopped so I need to finish this. So yeah, enjoy this time lapse. I'm super excited to show the flip through of this. I like watching these on YouTube, the flip through, the journal flip throughs or like painting a sketch pad, whatever flip throughs. Um, this one is not nearly as good as any of the stuff that I see online, but I hope it inspires you somehow. And yeah, here it is.
that it puts you in a good mood with all the bright colors and stuff. I would like to thank Aziza, who is one of my closest friends. She was the one who suggested this um, video idea. Thank you very much. Until the next video, bye!